Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Okay, it's lunchtime. I just went and picked up sushi from a local place. Um, and I made, I got sushi in front of all. I made a huge ordeal. Um, just before Mother's Day about going out and getting a raincoat because I did not have like a spring slash rain slash fall and it is absolutely pouring rain out there today and guess who didn't bring their raincoat no I thought about it but then I thought I'll leave it at home so there's that um, so I, yeah, I stopped at that sushi and the right next door to the sushi place is the like natural market. Um, it's called mother nature's market actually. And they have these Justin's peanut butter cups that are, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just going to say it. Y'all are probably going to be mad, but these are better than Reese peanut butter cups. I said it. And I got these, this is the second time I've had these. Made with natural ingredients, strawberry licorice, rich berry flavor, vegan, fat-free. Um, macros are really good on them if that's something that you look at. I always look. Um, it rarely deters me from eating anything, but I always look. And for 15 pieces, these are 130 calories. If that means anything to you. That's what they look like and I love them. They were a little over $4. So I'm gonna eat my sushi and I need to film. <laughs> That's what I'm doing right now. But I need to continue to film. And what did I wanna show you? There was something that I was like, ooh, I'm gonna do that. I wanted to play around a little bit. I know I'm standing like a broken record, but with the magpie pigments because I think I have them figured out. So I have some tips already set up on a, on a, um, Older. and I thought I would do maybe a little bit of nail art or a little bit of that just to make sure I've got my hand at it the right way so that I don't sit down and go to do it on a client that flops. I'm using baby so I'm using the white baby boomer pigment and it's fine. So I want to try the other ones just the once to make sure wow that rain really um so sometimes I buy really expensive hairspray you know the real good stuff and other times I bore it by like the $5. Well, right now I have the cheap purple can. Is it Aussie? Yeah, that turned into something with the rain. Like it all moves in one. So that's fun. It's, it's really fun. And I'm feeling a little damp. I told myself this morning that when I had a little break this afternoon before I was gonna film and whatever, that I would get my lunch and eat. I don't usually eat out, so I would get my lunch and eat and then I would go for a walk. And I thought, what if it's raining? It doesn't really matter, who cares? I'm just raining. Yeah, no, it's pouring, I'm not gonna do that. Anyway, so I'm gonna eat my spring rolls and my sushi and I have three clementines that I will probably eat before I get into the candy. Then I'm gonna continue this vlog. I might even finish this vlog today. It might be a short one, because I don't normally put out short vlogs, but I know some of you do like them. So anyway, I'm just gonna do all this stuff, and we'll talk later. Hey guys, okay, I'm back. I ate my lunch. I have not had my peanut butter cups yet, but I'm gonna. But, change of plans, which I know you're used to. Let me bring you a little closer. I am gonna try to recreate a nail that home of diva if you don't follow home of diva she is one of the ugly duckling educators other than that i don't really know much about her aside from the fact that she does freaking amazing character nail art and it's very like concise and easy to look at for me and <clears throat> so i screenshot one of her photos hold on just a second okay it was from january it's from back in january and it was jack and sally so nightmare before christmas um, so that is the finished set. I can hear something running. And I would like to do Jack. Um, he's black and white, he's my favorite. But I am going to, she gives a little, the original design and then the end painted. 
and I just really want to try to recreate that. What I'm doing, <clears throat> what I've been doing lately is just trying to like recreate some nail art, like some character art, because when I look at the picture and when I recreate it, <clears throat> and when I try to mimic exactly what the artist has done, I feel like it gives me more practice and then um once i get going on stuff like that like once i keep at it of recreating other people's character work then i can google a picture get the drawn picture go ahead and do that character without piggybacking on somebody else's work that makes any sense whatsoever that is just the way i prefer to practice it's easier for my mind if i can focus on recreating what someone's already done in the beginning and then once i get on a roll then i'm good to go and i can pick it back up and sail but it's so funny if i get out of character drawing i have to like get back into it like this it's weird but it's kind of the way it's always been so that's what i'm going to do i'm just going to play around with doing jack skellington and uh eat my peanut butter cups but I did come across something that I thought would be fun to put into this vlog. You guys are familiar, if you've been on my channel, that I really like to do Instagram videos for you guys. Like I really like to do Instagram information videos for you guys, like letting you know what changes are coming. My last video, which should be the one right before, right before this, was about the changes that are coming to Instagram. If you're interested in those, the video is like, I don't know, four minutes long or something, you really should go watch it. It's got a lot of information in there. It just kind of keeps you abreast of what is happening and what is changing for creators. Uh, but I also have more information on how to get more views on your stories. And I wanted to share that, but I, I didn't want to do a standalone video because it was really only a minute or two of information. And <clears throat> I'm not good at like adding words and dragging it out to make a longer video. I know some people can do that and keep it interesting. I can't. So I'm gonna add that information in on this vlog because I think it's important for people to be able to get this information. A lot of times people don't know where to get this information and because I am interested in it and do the research and do find it, I feel it's only fair to pass it along. So I am going to chat about that while I do this nail art. So if that interests you, here we are, nails time. So what I'm starting with is my Lacket White. I use this as a lot as a base. So I'm doing two coats of that, my nearly empty bottle here. I'm trying to get it as neat as possible. This is a well-loved bottle, which means it may or may not have a little bit of dust in it, but I think it's all right. Making sure that your base color is even is really important too. So in the next video, I should have a haul for you guys from AR Nail Supply. So that'll kind of be fun. Just got the necessities again. So I'm gonna use the, um, the AR, no. I'm gonna use the Lacket Black as well. So I'm just gonna use the Lacket Black and White. I thought I had a gray up there as well, but I don't think I do. I'm just gonna go ahead and mix them. I think this will be better. So the white is cured. I am going to top coat it with the Luminary Nail Systems matte top coat called Empower. It is a tack-free matte and it's really beautiful. Highly recommend. So I'm gonna keep those three things out. I'm also going to get my Get Buffed brushes and my mixing palette. I know it's time to upgrade. My two brushes, sometimes these guys can get a little sassy. So we are going to give them a clean. I know this probably isn't ideal and someone is going to die watching me do this. However, it does seem to be what works best for me. I can say when I am using the Lacket colors, they are really heavy in the brush. And it's not that they won't clean out of the brush, it's just, I don't know, they get, they just get heavy. I don't know how else to explain that. They make my brush heavy, especially this longer one, the Brienne. Yeah, Brienne. It's a little bit longer, probably half an inch, and it makes, just makes it heavy. So I am going to cure that again, just to give it a boost to make sure that it's as cured as it can be. Um, simply because, 
when I put the tip in like that in the light, it's not exactly, it's not sitting in a spot that your hand would normally sit. So sometimes I will double cure just to make sure that all sides of that, let me just show you this way, to make sure that both sides are getting cured because sometimes they just don't when they're in there like that. So I'm going to do my pencil sketch and I'm also going to bring up the picture on my iPad because it's a little bigger, obviously. So I'm gonna do my pencil sketch and it's time to talk about the Instagram stories and, and, and what you get with them, what you're doing with them. Okay, so your average, on average, you're getting about 10% of your followers are seeing your Instagram stories. Now, 10%, kind of seems like a lot, but kind of doesn't too. So I really would like to try to give you this information to hopefully help you get it to boost up to 20%. That would be so much better. So one of the main questions that I keep seeing anywhere, like any of the forums that I follow that have Instagram information is people wanting to know how many times a day that they should post to their stories. And that is a really great question because when you look at Instagram influencers, people who do Instagram as a job, as a full-time job, oftentimes they're posting kind of a different number of stories every day. And obviously you're going to do the same if your day is really boring. Like today, for example, I haven't posted much to my Instagram stories because nothing has happened yet. When something does happen, I will post. If something interesting comes up, if I think of something interesting to talk about, I will post or I will, yeah, post, upload to my stories. I don't wanna get anything confused. So when I say post today, that is going to mean upload to stories. So at first I started Jack's head and it was a bit small for my liking, so I'm redoing it. So the general rule of thumb that they're saying right now with the algorithms, with what's happening right at this very moment, subject to change without notice, is between five and 15 stories in the run of a day. So between five and 15 really doesn't seem that bad if you're trying to grow. I mean, I can post five stories about something silly. So between five and 15 is your general, your general goal. Again, obviously, if there's something going on in your day that's keeping you totally immersed in your niche, then you are going to be able to post more, and that is totally fine. Um, five to 15 is just like a given or general. The next subject that tends to come up about that is timing. When, how often. So again, obviously, these are not rules that you are to live your life by. Sorry, I'm trying to judge where eyeballs, nose, my guy and my guy, he's just out of balance here. See, this, let me see you. Let me see your face, I need to see your face. This is exactly what I'm talking about. I will sit down to do this and think, I can do that today, I can do that in five minutes. I've been recording for 13. I just wiped it off again. One thing to learn with doing character drawing is patience. I, there was a time when I would do character drawing in minutes, I could just out, 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 it was gone, it was done. And that has slowly changed over time. I think maybe I've just become a little bit more of a perfectionist, perhaps, in my, my years. Sometimes you have to erase it, and that's totally fine. That's totally fine. Sometimes you have to scrap the whole darn thing. Also fine. Don't give yourself such a hard time. So anyway, timing. <laughs> on your Instagram post. My phone just shut off and I need that. It has my notes in it for you. Okay, let's just get back at it. We'll talk about time. Okay, so again, timing. Should you post your stories all at the same time? Should you spread them out? Um, so keep in mind that a general person is checking their Instagram once every half hour. You heard that right? The studies have been done. People check their Instagram, generally, of course, every half half hour. So you can already guess what I'm going to say for timing. Oh, that is better. Much better. So every half hour is going to be a, like a really good rule of thumb. If you're posting and you're leaving a half hour or so in between each story or each like cluster of stories, then you're always going to stay on the top or the beginning of the story lineup and 
then when you post like 25 stories all at once and the person watches them and then they carry on, they set their phone down for a half an hour, for an hour, whatever, whatever, and they pick it back up, you're not gonna be at the beginning anymore, you're gonna be way down the line. But if you're posting, again, posting to stories, every half hour or so, then you're at the beginning of the game all the time. Now, obviously, many things, like thousands of things, will come between you and posting at the same time. However, I just really want you to have the information in hand that will help you to be able to get more views out of your stories. So I know that I said in the last video that hashtags are going to be a little less important in the future. And that is going forward what they're saying. Hashtags are going to be less important than they are now. However, at this point, it is still important and it does still get you a few more views in your niche to use hashtags on your story. Don't forget to use hashtags that aren't necessarily 100% either like uh rather than using you know hashtag nail tech hashtag nail tech problems i'm famous for that i use those ones a lot then you could use um hashtag new brunswick or hashtag new brunswick artist like new brunswick is the um province that i'm in um canadian nail tech uh things about your location maybe product that you're using just take a check around and see what other local people are using for kind of random hashtags that you could throw into a story also the you can throw in there and hide. So if you want a video about how to put hashtags or ads like tags in your stories and hide them, let me know. It's super easy, super simple to do. Once you've got it, you've definitely got it for life. So let me know about that. Okay, Mr. Jack, let's see. So the next thing that is super helpful is not to forget that the more engagement your stories bring, the more views to your stories. So it's a lot the same as just plain old posting on Instagram. The more engagement, the better. So you want to be asking questions, using stickers, using polls. The polls and the question stickers seem to be the most widely used. And they're the easiest to use too, really. It's the easiest to come up with a little blurb to go into a poll or a question sticker. So don't forget about your engagement. Also, if you wanna link something, <clears throat> I'm often linking products and I tell people to DM me because I don't have 10,000 followers, so I don't have the swipe up button. Um, but that doesn't mean that you can't be recommending affiliate codes. Make sure they're affiliate. You need to be making money everywhere here. Sorry, I had to look at you to say that. So make sure that you're you're engaging, you're asking people to DM you, you're talking to people when they DM you. I love when my DMs go off and somebody has something cute to say in them. Oftentimes, you know, nail techs asking like, ooh, where did you get that? Or what is that? Or how did you do that? Or whatever. I mean, there's nothing any better than seeing someone's story and realizing that there's a product that they're using or something that they're doing that's like gonna just make your life so much easier. Love that, love that for you guys. You know, we talked about engagement and obviously that is super important. Super, super, super important. But on the flip side, you of course want people to engage with you, but you need to engage with people as well. So you as a creator need to make your content interesting, but also you need to make sure that you're interacting with other people's content. As a creator, you know how much work goes into your Instagram, um, your Reels, your YouTube, whatever platform it is. So make sure that you in turn are engaging with other people's content that is similar to yours. They super appreciate it, I can guarantee you that. And they're more likely to come back to your page and be like, oh hey, this is the girl that always loves my nail art. This is the girl that always comments on my stuff. Because we need to show other creators, especially in a time like right now, we need to show other creators how important they are to us and how important it is that they have put so much work well, that's not what I wanted, into their content. I mean, I'm only mildly happy with it, but I also still have to paint it. I think it's gonna be okay. Okay, 
So I'm gonna paint this guy with you guys. When I get it finished, I'll try to remember to <laughs> take a photograph to put at the end of this vlog. Assuming it turns out, if you don't see any picture, then I guess it didn't turn out. So while you watch me do this, I just wanna say bye because this is probably gonna be it for the vlog because it was a vlog turned into Instagram rant. The lighting is terrible in here. It is so dark and rainy out and I love it. I love rainy days. Let's just jack that up a little bit. That's a little better. Um, okay, so yeah, if you see the picture, the picture got finished. If you don't, but I'm gonna eat my peanut butter cups and I'm gonna talk to you guys next time. Make sure you subscribe. I never post on the same day twice. <laughs> it's gonna be my new motto. If you've been here before, you've heard that from me before. Anyway, bye. Appreciate you. See you later. Make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to like. Pop me a comment down below. Because engagement, engagement guys. It's all about engagement. Okay, here we are. I got him done. He's kind of cute. He'll do.